I haven't been vlogging the past few weeks. I'd say maybe a week or two, week and a half, two weeks into lockdown. I just started to feel really crap and unmotivated. To be honest, I was struggling. Anyways, if you guys are still going through quarantine or lockdown, whatever you want to call it, I hope you guys are all doing well and taking care of yourself. A little update. So Sunday night Tiger had pulled his tube out. We thought maybe we'll try him without the tube, see how he goes. Because we have done it previously and the first day this week I was honestly just shocked and surprised on how well he actually did. We never really tried him on just like blue top milk, cow's milk just from the fridge and we decided to give that a go. The first morning he had 100 mils and he ate a whole piece of toast and that is not what we expected. Because he's having all that milk through the tube and stuff he just doesn't seem that hungry and we yeah we just never expected him to actually drink from a sippy cup. This is the third day without the tube in and he isn't doing as well as we'd hoped. I don't know if this is just one of his down days. It was just earlier I was feeling a little discouraged and kind of like crap. I feel like I have high expectations. It's okay to feel like crap sometimes or feel discouraged but you just need to express how you're feeling and then eventually you'll get over it. I, mean, I think I have already. So I don't think you guys have seen Tiger with his tube out, but this is him without the tube. Oh. It's so nice to see you have a beautiful face. <gasps> you know what? I think I'm going to put on makeup today. Just to see whether it does make me feel better or it makes me more productive. So yeah, this is the before. And here is my after. I don't know how I feel about these dramatic lashes on me right now. I haven't worn these in so long. But I used to wear them all the time like last year. Because they actually look like legit eyelash extensions. But since then I have ruined them by like ripping the glue off and yanking on the end. Kind of ruining the shape of it and stuff. Um. Anyway, Tiger has gone for a walk with his grandma. So that leaves me some time for myself. The thing with... Having free time is choosing whether you want to relax or you want to get a whole load of stuff done. And I don't know what I want to do. I do a little bit of both maybe. I put washing on. Tidy the kitchen. Because the washing will take like a while. So by the time he gets back the washing will still be going. And then when he goes down for a nap I can hang the washing out. Smart! Ooh. And I also forgot. I was talking to Fergus the other day and I was kind of like bored thinking about different video ideas. And then I was like, why don't we do a project car thing with the Mirage? And he mentioned it before. I was like, um, no. You haven't even fixed my car yet. If you are interested in cars or even watching the whole process, give this video a thumbs up. A hint for what we're going to do is strip the whole car to a shell and we're gonna start from there. So Tiger's back and he is asleep. Yeah, so my package from Genora. During lockdown, they did like a little thing where the first like 100 orders get like a broken box of their collagen protein. And I really wanted to try the protein, but looking at this box, I don't think I got it. That's alright because I'm running low on my renew anyway. So. Yeah. So thank you for your order. Information about collagen. got I actually got one no way what 
This is the banoffee pie flavor. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm excited to try it because I, I've always wanted to try it, but I just, I don't like spending a lot of money on things because I already have like a few protein products here that I wanted to use up before I got this, but since I got it free, that is awesome. So this is the bovine collagen and this is marine collagen. Those two together hopefully will have a good result. Since I am sitting down talking, something that I've seen over like social media like Facebook and Instagram is so many people complaining about the lines at fast food places but not complaining about waiting in line, complaining about people going to get takeaways on the first day of level three. Just the kind of comments that people are like writing. It's kind of like bullying. It's almost like I'm not very smart, okay, so just bear with me. Um just like calling people stupid. I don't why you had five weeks without takeaways or whatever and stuff to do with like oh nobody cares about their health. And it's sort of like they're open which means people are allowed to go get takeaways if they want to. If you don't want to, you stay at home and don't get any takeaways. I don't know, I just feel like so many people like to just comment and like be mean and stuff and it's sort of like, well, that's their choice if they want to go get Maccas and wait in a line. That's their choice. There's no law that says they're not allowed to go. Wanna, like... <laughs> I don't know, just things like that kind of like annoy me. Other people, well, people's choice to go and get Maccas or get KFC, that's their choice. That's their choice that they want to make, that's their money. Like it doesn't affect you. And people are saying go, su go support your local like businesses and stuff. You go do it then. You go do it. Like I'm not saying don't support your local businesses. And there's also people saying these are those are the people that have been complaining that they have no money and lost a job or whatever but then they go out to buy Maccas and KFC. <sighs> it's just so many people assume that it's the people that complain that they don't have enough money. That's not your problem. Say. So, anyways, tonight I don't feel like making dinner so I am making the choice. I want to get fish and chips or curry from our local takeaway shops. I can't wait for Maccas. I feel like we just get caught up too much in other people's lives when we should just focus on our own and focus on doing good things ourselves. So it's my lucky day. So I bought a pillow from Ecosa. Yes, so I've had a really sore neck the past week and I feel like it's been really putting me off and I just felt like crap and it's really hard to get comfortable when I'm going to bed as well. Also, it has a 100 day trial thing so try it out for a few weeks, a few months and then see how it goes and if I'm not happy with it I can return it and try to find another good pillow. This comes with a pillow and then also two pads. So um, depending on your size or your bed, I guess, um, you can put like pads underneath to make it higher, which I don't think I would need, but we'll see. Vacuum sealed. That's why I look so small and thin. Like, look at it. I like, how am I meant to sleep on this? Okay. So it's got a opening close. Open. It's meant to come off. Well, it's just like a little clip, so. Right. 
So these are the two pads. This is a pillow. Is there instructions for this? Should I read the instructions? Is that starting to look a bit thicker? I think so. Awesome. Oh, I'm excited to try that. Exciting. We got fish and chips. Yes. I'm currently editing. I've been editing for the past 24 hours. The past day. The video ended up being like over 20 minutes long, which is not what I wanted. So I decided I'm just going to cut this vlog in half. They are two separate days anyway. Just want to say thanks for watching this video of me pretty much just talking and ranting about things. Make sure you subscribe and like this video as well please. Thanks. Bye.